Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Kentucky Wildcats. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I'll tell you what, it looks like an M&M, but you never know. If they come out and get an early start and play with some confidence and get that early lead, they can put pressure on the favorite. The Wildcats should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly favored on paper. But what are the keys for them to win? Tonight, the keys are pretty simple. Number one, the point guard has to be the leader out there. He's got to be the coach on the floor. Secondly, get the ball inside for the high percentage shot. That'll open up the outside game as well. And lastly, be aggressive defensively. Don't give them any open looks. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Thinks about the shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Nice shot. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Looks at the three. Oh, he got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Trying to feed inside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He attempts the three, goes. Trying to go inside. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Working it around the perimeter. Dumps it in. The shooting guard receives the ball. He uses the shot fake. Puts it up. Goes in. Three scorches the net. They look to get it to the inside. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. On the outside, Rivers handles the pass, jumps in. He gets that one to fall. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the outside. Here's a double team. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Hey, the crowd loved that one, Brad. But did you see the mascot? He's so excited. I think he may pull something up there jumping around like that. He's going to get hurt. Hey, don't hurt yourself, big fella. They need you to cheer. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Double team now. Bad angle. Look at that student body. They are going mad. They're rocking right now. My goodness. High post flashes for the ball handler. He dials long distance. Kentucky are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Yeah, they're really starting to click on offense. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Beasley is feeling great out there right now. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. 
Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting it. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. For three, it sticks. This is what posters are made from. Terrell handles the feed. Perfectly executed. Dump it inside. He shoots from outside. Off the rim and no good. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Terrell receives the pass. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. They work the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He steps up to the line. Gets the first shot. this time. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Look at the student section, Dick. Cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. The skip pass is picked off. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. to pick up the defense here now on the outside and there's a lazy pass it's stolen away turnover will it turn into two the other way they scored 11 in a row Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. Gave it up. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket.
He attempts the trifecta way off target. Looking for contact. Perfectly executed. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Beasley fakes the shot. That's a great response by this crowd. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. Now check him out. Who would have thought? With a cheerleader. Come on. Hey, he's out of control, Brad. He wants everyone to get up and enjoy the moment, including the cheerleaders. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? Set that screen away. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Jump hook from the low block. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making the throw to lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, the crowd seems to have expected this outcome, and you can tell they're certainly not surprised by tonight's score. Thanks, Aaron. He can't get the J to go, despite running off the nice screen. On the outside, tries a three. He gets the bucket to fall. Control of the ball. Now they work it around the perimeter. Looking for the foul. Makes the shot. Watch here. by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Great play to take that to the basket. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way to spin back the other way. Terrell steps to the line for the first time. First shot, good. And he got them both. Wow, the defender walks into a vicious screen. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Fires away, gets it to go. Puts it up, looking for contact. Perfectly executed.
too much. That's a foul. Swanson goes to the line for the first time. Makes it. He misses the second. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. They work it around the perimeter. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. He's got hops like you, man. He got hops like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. <laughs> Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great play to take that to the basket. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Well, let's check oh, in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Well, I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. up for two and he missed from three-point land he buries it we'll get a better look on the replay Looking for a good shot. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. Fakes the shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He buries the shot. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The crowd will be on cloud nine if they can put some points up on the board. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as Melvin, fading away, impossible to block. I think a defensive stop on this possession, Dick, will have this crowd just roaring. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Trying to draw some contact. He hits it. Lobs it. Bowen draws the personal. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? They will line him up. He sinks it.
Misses the second shot. Grabs the board. Then have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Look at that spacing. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. They work the perimeter, tries to get the D to bite from the top of the circle. There was no doubt about that one. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Accepted. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Trying to draw the foul, and he scores despite the hack. Bucket doesn't go. Pump fakes. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He unloads a three, tickles a twine. the outside the ball goes out of bounds things are going well and it's going well for the school mascot too I tell you I love those mascots they put so much enthusiasm and energy in the win problem with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble well you got to get help because you got to see ball man that's essential when you play on there and you're fronting way off target the fans at Rupp Arena are in an uproar Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I'll tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talent. And that bucket's going to count plus one. A big time in one, baby. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. He hits it. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Perfectly executed. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Definitely a foul. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love it. Gave it up. Sets the screen for his teammate. 
great play to take that to the basket. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. At the half, the Crimson Tide trail by nine. What's your take on the EA Sports play of the half, Parker? This shot right at the buzzer is my highlight, Mr. Nestler. Top nine. Well, let's head back down to the court for the start of the second half. Kentucky found themselves shooting very well, Dick, in that first half. Hey, that's a true sign of a well-coached team and a mature team. And we don't see too many mature teams. They're not mature like you, Mr. Nestle. <laughs> Dick, you start looking at this when you were a coach and you were down this big at halftime. <laughs> what are you thinking? Let's get out of here? I'll tell you what, David has really had a tough time against the Goliath. They have done a great job, the Goliath, coming out mentally focused and ready to perform. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the yard. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. This defender is resilient, still applying pressure. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Can't get the shot to go. They still don't score. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. For the bucket, the lane. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Jumps in. Swanson was a highly touted recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully, he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. Top of the circle. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Good job defensively. And going the other way in transition. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestle. How much fun would that be? Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He's money with the shot. The Crimson Tide are behind by 15. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble in act here and turns it over. That's seven on answer. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Not get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here on transition, Brad. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block.
We'll get back to the action here after the timeout. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. If you get the steal, you're a hero. But you always run the risk of committing a foul when you go for that steal. And working around the perimeter. Dump it inside. For two. Perfectly executed. go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Up and inside. Up fake. The power forward gets the ball. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He goes to the line. Concentration, got to concentrate. Way Brick short. City. Gets the second shot. Stolen away. They get it out into transition. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. Let's it fly. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet jam. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. On the outside, got a nice screen. Looking for a good shot. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Nails the deuce. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Looking for the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. From left of the circle, he makes the shot. The Crimson Tide are down by 20. Yeah, that's basic. There's the fake. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Fakes a jumper. For the bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Tries for two. And in and out. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. 
Kicks off the lazy pass. Kicking back outside. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. You betcha. This is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. Gave it up. Goes up for two. And he missed. Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. On the outside. There's the screen up on top. Entry pass in the paint. Barry makes a great move to draw the foul. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's throwing salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Makes the first. Alabama are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Well, the arc looked good. And they're catching nothing but iron at the free throw line, Dick. They're going to catch more than that from their coach if they don't start putting them down, Brad. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Dick, this team was expected to win. I don't know if we expected it to be this big of a lopsided affair, but uh, they played really well in the first half, and they're doing the same here in the second. I think if you're the underdog, all you want to do if you're the coach you want to go to the last five minutes with a chance to get to the winner's circle. Because I think if you get there, the pressure begins to mount on the field. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Off the rim and no good. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Perfectly executed. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Picked off. Working it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Knocks it down. The Wildcats lead by 20. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Here they go into transition. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. There's the trap. Perfectly executed. That's a 7-0 run. Pushing that basketball. Shoots it way off target. Shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. 
They work it around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. There's a double team waiting there. Stolen away. He shoots from the top of the circle. Sinks the shot. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. Picked out of the air. He throws it up from downtown. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. And they get the turnover. They push it up on the break. Puts it up, looking for contact. That's an 8 nothing run. On the outside. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. The player's got a much-needed breather with that timeout. Steals a pass for the bucket. Perfectly executed. He went right through that double team. Hey, let's see if they decide to double next time down. They'll work it around the arc. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. The ball goes out of play. Nick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Look from three point land. Here's a double team. He lets it go. He gets it to go. The Crimson Tide are down by 16. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Picks off the pass. For two. Nice shot. They work it around the perimeter. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries for two. Perfectly executed.
from three-point land. He shows the sweet touch. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Jumped in front to take it away. Now they work it around the perimeter. He tries the three. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. The power forward with the ball. That's good. On the dribble, gives it up. He intercepts it. Kicks it out. He takes the shot. Way off target. Moving it around the perimeter. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. The student body is rocking tonight. Isn't it great, Brad? Double team now, that angle. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. He shoots. Sinks it. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. Well, it's simple. They came out, executed a game plan, and ended up on top. Off the rim and no good. Stolen. That's going to be a backcourt violation, Dick. Hey, the defense did their job, baby. So they'll inbound on the near sideline. Look at that spacing. Goes for the deep one. He nails the shot. From downtown. Gets the bucket. Takes the jumper. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. That he's on fire. He puts up the tray. There was no doubt about that one. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're funny. Tickles a twine. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walked with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. He nails the bucket. Here it is. Up and inside. And the ball goes out of play. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Shot clock is dead. On the outside. Great defense. On the dribble, gives it up. On the outside. Kicks it out. They just 
keep rolling along, Dick. We kind of expected it would go this way, and they came out on top of the ball game. I'll tell you, they always find a way to regroup when everything should get really tough. They regroup, and they make sure the ball is in the hands of the right people. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Kentucky wins tonight in a blowout. The outcome was never in doubt. It was always a question of how dominant they would be. Brad Nessler saying so.